Hey everyone, Ray Salville here with a real quick video on how to set up and install the Facebook Pixel in five minutes or less. Let's dive in and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be in your Ads Manager account on Facebook. And there's a couple of ways to get to the Pixel section. You can either select the hamburger menu at the top of your screen and go to Pixels, or go under Measure and Report and select Pixels as well. There's a couple areas inside Business Manager, but I would recommend going through Ads Manager as that is the easiest way. And in order to create this pixel, it's pretty simple. You create the big green button that says create a pixel. And we're going to name this pixel. And this is for um, one of the businesses I work with, one of my parents' businesses. And it's called Solvel Inc., uh, my last name. And you can put in your website as well. So I will do solvelinc.com. And we can continue. Now, when setting up the pixel... This is all you have to do. It's this easy. Really, the next steps become with configuration and then advanced configuration, which we'll cover in a different episode that is more covering event setup and how you can set up things like purchases, event signups, lead forms, things like that. But if you use a common CMS like Shopify, WordPress, Squarespace, many partners on Facebook, you can install it through their integration. So if you select this tool, you can literally just select... Uh, Magento or Shopify or whatever CMS you use and it'll take you through a really really quick tutorial on how to install said pixel however if you work with a web developer and you don't want to go through all that jazz what you can do is click on email instructions to a developer literally put down their email address and it will give your developer all of the instructions on how to install this code. And if you work with any type of developer, it's super simple. You can send this over and you'll be done within you know, a couple minutes. And then finally, if you have some sort of CMS that is not supported through Facebook, you can manually install the code yourself. So um, there are several parts of the code. You have the base code that goes on every single part of your page. So this is the part that goes there on your website. And then you can turn on... Um, additional events so you can manually set up event codes for um, if people add to the wish list on your site if they add to the cart this is a little bit more advanced um, I would highly recommend just setting up the Facebook pixel initially on your site make sure everything is working there because then what you can do is you can begin to set up different audiences for people who visit your website and there's a ton of ton of advanced retargeting and remarketing methods that you can do and if you're looking for things like that check out my other video that'll be linked in the description below for the top three audiences to create on Facebook um, but guys that's all that's really involved here is for setting up your pixel you literally set it up you install the pixel and you can do that through the CMS manually or email to a developer and you place the code and then you're able to test it by going to diagnostics over here on the left hand side um, I'm sorry you go to test events and then you can type in your website and then as soon as the pixel is placed you'll begin to see that fire almost immediately so that's it guys five minutes or less I'm sure I'm well under five minutes so if you guys have any questions on simply how to install the Facebook pixel let me know there will be another video coming up in the near future about advanced configuration for events however for most of you that are just simply looking to track users who go to your website through the Facebook pixel this is how you do it any question guys let me know below in the comments thanks bye